Hey guys, alright, so today what we're going to do is just real quick, we're just going to throw some numbers down on the AEA Challenger. Again, I'm out of Hades, so we got to use these guys. Um, I'm just, I start, I'm starting off at 3400 PSI, since I know around 32 is my sweet spot. Uh, I don't want to, I don't want to dilly dally and, you know, go through all those low numbers just to get to our high numbers. So, uh, I'm going to be using the magazine, kind of like a shot tray. Just kind of poke the pellet in like so. Alright, here we go. Number one. One thousand thirty feet per second. Wow. Okay, so this is going to be today. So one thousand thirty, which is what we averaged at yesterday. One thousand thirty. Now remember, these polymags they weigh the same thing as the Predator. So, the numbers we're getting, everything's the same. Trying to keep all data right in line. Ooh! 1059! Now, remember what we're testing today. Today, we're trying to... Today what we're doing is we're trying to uh, see if that rounded nose on that valve has any kind of uh, bearing on the performance of the rifle. All right? That's all we're testing today. I, that's the only thing I want to know. So far, yes. Yes, it does. It would appear to. 1059. We broke a record today. It's a beautiful day when you break one of your own records. Feels good. <laughs> Duplicate! 1059. Now we've n I don't think we've ever duplicated on this. I don't know. I don't remember. So we got 10.59, which would mean for the last two shots we've averaged what, boys and girls? 10.59. All right, this average is going to look good. Okay. <clears throat> There's probably a couple 80s running around down on this floor, too, that have dropped. Is that one? <clears throat> nope, that's a silver point. I drop pellets all the time, then I can't find them, and then like a day or two goes by, and then, oh, look what I found. It's just how it goes. All right. Ten sixty one. We're going up. Eleven hundreds right around the corner. Do do do. Gonna break that record again. You know, potentially speaking, we could. I don't think we're going to. But we could. Hit 1100 today. It might. It might. I, I've now. I've not tested any of this. You're seeing all this for the first time with me. All right. 1061. 1050. All right. We're going back down. <clears throat> I 
I will take one more shot to see if it's going to continue going down. I want to try the next thing on this. It ain't a performance thing, but I just want to see how much easier it is to do the Mr. Hollow Point foam uh, single shot tray versus this. Though this is functional, it does the job. Ten twenty one. Okay, yeah, that's a that's a, that's a drastic drop. So. Uh, we got that 1021. Remember, we got 1020 yesterday at 2900. So let us see what we got here. Twenty nine hundred. So we have confirmed get this mosquito out of here. There's two of them. You can twins. We have confirmed that A, the spring absolutely did do something. And we're going to look at our numbers here. Uh, we need to get this mosquito out of here. Okay. So we went 1030, 1059, 1059, 1061, 1050, 1021. Uh, I bet this 1059 right here, being that it duplicated on my uh, Caldwell, I bet that 1059, if we had the decimal point, would have been a little stronger 1059 than this 1059. What, what do you what do you want to bet? That was almost a 1060. Uh, educated guess. So. Uh, we did 1026, 1032, 1041, 1033, 1020. And we started, we'll see here, how many shots we got here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we'll go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Our sixth shot over here is 985. That's that anomaly. Um, 985 today was 1030. 1026 today was 1059. 1032 today was 1059, 1041 was 1061, 1033 was a 1050, and then we, we hit back at 1020. So that's that's same right there. So that's saying, well, actually, no, it's a little bit faster. It's just a it's just a little bit faster today by one. Um, hmm. I want to say it had an effect, but the effect that it had, yeah, we're we're out of we're out of the margin of error with this thing. We're well within it. Right here, I can see that we might be in it at four uh, feet per second. Right here, an almost 30 foot per second gain. Then we got another almost 30 foot per second gain, well, 20 uh, foot per second gain. And then here we got we got a 20. And here we got 23. And here we got a one. Those are all with. Those are outside of the margin of error. Those are actual results. Yes, rounding the nose on your uh, valve, like I did, will absolutely, absolutely give you a little bit more. It works, at least in this case. Let me total the numbers. I'll be right back. All right, so I got the new numbers. I don't know if you guys can see them very well, but our new numbers are this is our new average 1051 FPS and 
121.1 foot-pounds of energy. We're closing in. Today, seeing these results, we're hitting 1,100 boys and girls. Probably in the next video, maybe. But today's results, absolutely 100%. You saw them as I saw them. These are new for me. Um, this is this is ridiculous. We're going 1051. Now we have a pellet switch because I'm out of Hades and I can't get a hold of any more. Because we have bench rest days right now here in Arizona. <coughs> and uh, the bench rest days... <coughs> Uh, Air Guns of Arizona is all out of about everything because everybody and their neighbor storms up on Air Guns of Arizona when bench rest days comes and just buys all the ammo. So I can't get any Hades right now locally. Uh, so what we have are these guys which are equivalent in weight, equivalent in size, uh, and uh, that is that is what we have today. So. Uh, I will make a little asterisk by that. Uh, we'll put a new color up here to know that we're doing a pellet switch, which is green. All right, so I'll put a dot by it to know where there's a pellet switch. Uh, I wish I had red so I would know. Actually, I do have a red. I'll, I'll change that to red here in a second. Uh, <clears throat> so, yes, rounding it appears rounding the nose of your valve so it can cut through the air easier does have some kind of an advantage to it. Uh, at least on this particular gun. Now what I think I want to do, let's see here, now I've got a tune to get up higher in that, it looks like 3400 today was really where we were starting. Right off the bat it started going up, 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 okay. So I need to come up higher and move that power curve a little more. So what I'm going to do today and in the next test, uh, I think I'm going to start playing with that valve spring a little more. I'm going to shorten it um, just a little bit and see what that does. Um, it's a little, a little, you know, less and less resistance on this valve is, is proving to us that. Uh, we're moving up and up and up because we're able to open easier under higher pressure. Not bad. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I'm trying to keep them as short as I can. Uh, I don't want to do any more 55 minute monstrosities. With that, thank you for watching. God bless you. Take kid fishing, take kid shooting, and I will see you on the flip. Bye now.